just for you. Kiwi. Kiwi. 102.2 Auckland. Spider Hunter from ehpfitness.com. He knows a bit about fitness. Yes, he's also Spider Hunter on Twitter as well. And he's our personal trainer here on Kiwi Bank for his first personal training session. That's personal trainer for you and me here on Kiwi FM for 2010. Spider Hunter, good morning. Good morning, Wemo. Welcome to 2010. Oh, you into it? You into it? I'm getting there slowly. <laughs> Maybe. Holiday mode is still in my bones. Well, the, um, maybe the music might help out. Oh, mate, I'm glad there's no video stream today. I even got my groove on. <laughs> <laughs> video stream of me, unfortunately, but um, but but not not for you today. Not for me today, no. Luckily, because I was shaking my good e- thing. Except for your picture. I've got your picture up on the live video stream. Oh, that's okay. It shows my good side. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing over, over the holidays? Have you, have you, I mean, have you had a break at all? Oh, I've had a little bit of a break, yes. I've, I've worked through a little bit, but nothing crazy. I just did a um, few hours here and there, so, but I took all the stats off and I've been camping, so I am, oops, very grateful for that. Just got back, actually, not um, on Wednesday, so a bit knackered, took the kids and other kids and all sorts of kids, so it was awesome fun. The kid, well, that'll be enough exercise, I suppose, looking after and running around after kids. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Well, they had as much land they wanted to play on because we were yeah. in Craigieburn, and so we were up by Porter's Arthur's Pass area, so they could, uh, it was real camping too, no toilets. No to no toilets. What, what long drops or no, no? Well, we did find a long drop at a lodge, but uh, prior to that, no, mate, native, uh, just joke, go in the bush somewhere. Dig your own. Dig your, dig your own hole. <laughs> <laughs> So it was an experience for the kids. Some enjoyed it on that side of the uh, that side of it, and some missed their toiletries. I can't remember, but um, just before Christmas, did we talk about resolutions at all, and whether or not you? I, I can't remember if you're into resolutions. I, I, I think we did actually, because I said because I asked do people still make resolutions. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they they do because I, I I saw um, on on various social media people saying you know. That they've uh, made resolutions, but they don't plan on keeping to them. <laughs> you know. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't know about resolutions, mate. By now, they would have all been busted up anyway. But, but I mean, even if you're not into them, I guess it's it's still a good opportunity, I suppose, to make a fresh start of some yeah, kind. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think at at the end of each year, I think sit back and reflect on what you did and didn't do, and how you can get it and maybe improve upon it mm. and stuff. So I think um, definitely making goals and helping figure out how to make them stick is definitely uh, something you might want to do. I just don't agree with the whole need New Year's to make that happen. Yeah. Um, but definitely at some stage sit down and figure out, you know, what do you want to do this year and what was good last year. I think reflecting on both, what is it that you enjoyed of 2009 and then what is it that you want to do in 2000, what do you call it, 2010? 2010, Could you think, because one of the problems with um, with resolutions and the time that you make the resolution is that you're often, uh, you know, you're not prepared to uh, kick into gear to make that resolution happen straight away because you're relaxed. You're on, you're either on holiday. You know you're taking a break. Um, you're eating lots of food. You're um, probably drinking quite a lot, and so it's easy to say oh, I'm going to do this, but I don't have to kick into it until later on in January or even February. Yeah, I know that's what it's never. That's why it's never grabbed me that one. Like I don't, I've never got that thinking where I've even heard it. Oh, I'm not going to drink no more um, after this holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hello. Why it, not it, now? As, as, as soon as I get off this chair, it'll kick in. <laughs> yeah. You know. When I hear that, I think that's I can't. I'm sorry. My belief system just has fallen out the window of you achieving it. If you do, fantastic. If you don't, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I just don't understand it. Like for me, it's a perfect opportunity. I'm going to stop drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> Why tomorrow? Why the next day? Just. Now, now. Mm. especially when you're with your friends, I reckon that's the best time to stop because they're the times you may want to drink or smoke or eat more or and stuff because it's actually the times where you're with your mates that you do things, you know, like overindulge as opposed to um, big day out occasions. They're not the things, it's the everyday living that people, yeah, do, you know, overindulge in stuff as opposed to today at big day out, so... It's an interesting one, that's for sure. There's lots of ways to make it stick, your goals. I just don't know if uh, making, you know, 
2010 is uh, the turn of 2010 is the way to be your motivator. Yeah, that, just the the arbitrary turning of a of a date of yeah. a point in time. Yeah. Well, well but in, in still in saying that, it, it is sort of ingrained in our psyche that it is a time of renewal. You know, it's a time to, you know, look forward to a a fresh slate. I mean, for a lot of people, 2009. Was 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 a bad year, you know. Yeah, the job difficulties, or the pressure of, of perhaps lo- losing a job, or um, less business coming in, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, pressures at home. Uh, uh, so, so people, I guess, are looking forward to something new, something fresh, and new ideas. Yeah, absolutely. I think I've heard that quite a bit. Actually, that two thousand nine was a bit of an average year for. A lot of people. Mm. Uh, I still believe that you find, um, you know, positives in it because if you if 2000, you know, 2010 comes and you're saying it's going to be a better year because of 2010, yeah. then you've missed the boat again. You need to look back and think of well, what there was some good in 2009. It was a struggle for everyone. I don't think, uh, well, for you know, 99 percent of the population. So. I think reflecting on 2009 and finding positives in it and figuring out ways to improve it upon 2010 is better than saying, you know, 2010 is my year. Mm. It's going to be my year. Mm. I would rather you say, well, if I improve 10% upon what I did in 2009, then what would that achieve? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, then thinking about that then, what, what, are, what are some of the first steps you can take right now to start changing things, start making things happen? Um, I reckon the first one is to be coached. That's going to be a struggle for some people because of financial issues. Yeah. They don't always have to pay in monetary. That's where people get confused. If you have a coach, they're going to shortcut your process to anything. It doesn't matter whether it's in business and life and fitness and building computers. If you've got someone there um, guiding you, you don't have to have 10 years you know, right or wrong experiences you can shortcut and then optimise the process. Right. If coaching's not your thing because you want to do it all on your own and you're an alpha male, um, you, just, uh, you still need to write down your goals. Don't get me wrong. Everything still needs to be written down. And I still think that, and I absolutely believe that, writing on a pen and paper is far more powerful than typing into a computer screen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because a computer screen or a hard drive, you lose 90%. You can't find it because it's just stuff you put in there. So if you write down something and stick it to the wall on with pen and paper, um, it seems to be far more powerful. So and it also I guess seems a little bit stereotypical, but but whack whack that stuff up on the fridge. Yeah, like yeah, like I, I write it. Um, I mean, if you, I should probably show you my office at some stage. There's stuff yeah. everywhere on the walls and and all, all that sort of stuff. And I've got a big um, a board that I stick stuff on. So I've got stuff everywhere and like some of it may do nothing and some of it may do something but at least it's visual for me to see it and if I'm having a having a man moment and I'm a bit grumpy I can look at the stuff and it just helps balance me out a little bit more yeah okay Uh, anything else um I think for uh, a set of date is another one mate and refer to it often by putting a date down it gives you an accountability of um, you know, I want to try and or I want to achieve it by seven, eight weeks, and then yeah. refer to that often so you don't get lost in all the noise in your head. Yeah. All right, Spider. Thanks for launching our personal training sessions here on Kiwi. Look forward to um, seeing you back in the gym next week. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Spider Hunter at ehpfitness.com and uh, twitter.com forward slash Spider Hunter S P I D A Hunter, one word. Here is Kim K. This is called The Sky Is Falling. The Radio Ammo Breakfast. Let's hope not.